Hi, Steve LeGros here again, looking at some more of the changes coming in. The next upgrade from Meditech 5.65 to 5.66. In the test version here, looking now at some changes to the inpatient side, I would like to go through a couple things here. First, from the rounding list, you'll notice there's quite a bit more information displayed uh, for each of the patients on the list, which I think you'll find helpful. Also, the icons here on the left side of the screen, we should review those. Starting here on the top left is the open chart icon. Then your documentation icon here is the pencil. A new icon is the rounding note icon, and I will click there and it opens up a rounding note. In the rounding note, you can document notes for your partners or other people seeing the same patient. It is not part of the patient record, but does help communication between providers. Below that is a uh, icon to take you directly to discharge, and finally an icon that takes you directly into orders. One other big change you'll notice from the initial screen here is the discharge button is activated on the screen now where previously you had to go through orders to discharge a patient. So with that, I will click on the discharge icon here and we'll go directly into the discharge screen. In the discharge screen, you'll notice things have been cleaned up here quite a bit and we'll run through the discharge of one patient, make sure everything looks okay there. Starting here with the discharge information, anticipated date of discharge, we can click there, it pre-populates with today's date and then okay. Uh, discharge disposition, this list has been cleaned up to hopefully make it easier to find what you're looking for. A discharge order can actually be entered from this discharge screen and I'll click on the new discharge order button there. When I click there, I'm given the option to place that discharge order. When I select it, I am brought into the screen to fill uh, that discharge order out. You'll notice we've removed some of the extra information here to prevent duplication uh, between the different uh, discharge screens. The only required field uh, on this order is the follow-up appointment and you can enter your discharge instructions here. We'll say OK there, and then when we save our orders, we're asked to put in our PIN and thus uh, completing the discharge. One additional thing I would like to look at, uh, this patient uh, did not have any medications, and I will back out of there completely here. We'll go into patient Paul Bunyan here, and we'll go into his discharge as well and you notice this patient does have medications listed so notice here on the discharge screen you have the ability to reconcile your medication list right here when I click on the edit button I'm brought into ambulatory order management where uh, we, we can add additional orders uh, one nice upgrade is you can now click on the column headers to unclick or select your medications as a group to continue stop or renew them. That will say OK. You take a quick look at a discharge session summary, then save again, and the medication reconciliation has now been completed. At this time you can click the finalize button which will bring you to a review slide. which will show you which medications were successfully finalized. You may then click Save, which brings you to the final screen, the session summary. At this time, you may enter your PIN, followed by clicking the File and Exit button to complete the discharge process for this patient. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.